Welcome everybody, welcome to the World Championships, also <laughs> known as the Tour of Britain. This is your chance. You've got the biggest teams in the world here and they're all looking at you guys to make the step up. We know how we looked at you guys, we all looked at you guys are the next generation of people coming through. So if you want to prove yourself to everybody in the world, now is your opportunity, okay? There's a lot at stake, you know, from, from the very first uh, stage and from the gun everyone wants to get into that early break or just be on television or do something or, or ride for GC so it's also you know late in the season but for the UK teams especially it's what we've been thinking about for you know the eight months running up to it maybe for some of the bigger teams it's not quite such a big race compared to the grand tours or the classics but yeah for sure the UK teams this is what we've been waiting for for a long time. Right here I've got my race numbers which are about to be pinned on in my room with teammate Valtas Obrandi who as you can see is busy pinning his numbers on. Um, I'll let you decide if he's lucky or unlucky or if I'm the unlucky one as to have to spend the entire week together. Um. <laughs> the goal for today probably is to, to basically get one of the riders, uh, one of us in the breakaway for the day um, but also it's an unpredictable race this so you know, we don't want to miss anything major, certainly any GC splits. Uh, it's a innocuous looking day on paper, but it could be like it could be more decisive if it's windy, it could split. So uh, it's a really be pretty uh, pretty tentative all day. We're getting to the swing of it. It's uh, quite fun. Long early mornings, late nights. So yeah, it's fun. And we welcome onto the podium to register for the first stage of the Tour of Britain the team of IG Sigma Sport. Good morning, guys. Welcome. Five, four, three, two, one. Race started. Right, we will come back and find you because we we're down to our last bottle now. Yeah, the hardest thing about being a DS is it's not about race tactics. Race tactics aren't rocket science. Um, so the hardest thing is is how to adapt the tactics of your team to the characteristics of your riders. So if you don't know the characteristics, it's really hard to devise a plan that they firstly can do and secondly they'll buy into because you know. I can tell them one thing, but if they don't want to do it, they will do it, but they won't do it with with their heart, you know, and, and to win bike races you need to have six people riding in the same plan with their heart. <laughs> I think there's only two or three got meals there. Have you got any more food there? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> Bottles. Yeah, the feed stop went well. We got half of the riders' food. The, the lane that they decided to do the feed stop in was quite narrow, um, so it means there's not a lot of time for the riders to sort of slow down. Um, so the road could have been a bit bigger from our point of view, where it's quite a narrow lane. Um, but yeah, we got three of the riders' food um, and gave the rest of the team car to, to sort of follow up. What a day. I was a bit nervous coming into this race and uh, oh, it was flat so you couldn't tell too much with it. It was a pretty easy day for the most part until the end. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it feels tomorrow on the climb.